five years and counting. That's how long Tina Ross has been waiting for answers. Her son Ryan Bush disappeared from Ogden, but then his body was found in a recycling center near Los Angeles. In tonight's Justice Files, ABC4's Marcos Ortiz reports it's become a cold case for Ogden police. It was a bizarre case. First, Ryan Bush goes missing, then his body turns up in California. Five and a half years later, his mother still waits for justice. If he would have cleaned up, he's a great person. But Ryan Bush was trouble for his mother. He met these those two guys and he just was going down a wrong, wrong path. Drugs forced Tina Ross to kick her son out of the house. He was living on the streets of Ogden, but she says he still kept in touch. That is until April 15th. 2013. The next day I never heard from him. Three days later she filed a missing persons report. In May she learned her son's body was found near Los Angeles. I didn't believe it. I was confused because I didn't know how he would get to LA. His body was found at a recycling center in Southern California. But she learned Ryan's body was first at a recycling center in Ogden. The company ships material to that California company, and Bush was part of a shipment. The coroner's report uh, was undetermined as to cause of death. She claims two of her son's friends have information that points to murder. His best friend was the driver, and Ryan's body was in the trunk. And she says one of those friends claims a drug dealer was angry over a deal gone bad. They beat him, beat Ryan and tortured him for three days. Police say the two were questioned. We found those people and interviewed them, and based on their interviews um, and search for evidence, we could not corroborate the things that he said. As Ross searches for answers, there's bitterness with police. I know if it was one of theirs, or if my son was a cop, since he wasn't, it's not important to them. The lieutenant says he understands the mom's frustration, but they don't have anything to investigate because the tips have stopped coming in. He does say, if you know something, say something. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.